Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. My name's Peter, I'm from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Um, today, we'll be putting on a hitch on our uh, Ram 1500. Um, putting a hitch on can do a lot of different things for you. Uh, take you out camping, uh, you know, hauling bikes, whatever you need to do. You can also hook it up to a U-Haul trailer, haul that anywhere across the United States. Um, well, let's get into it and show you how it's done. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. All right, guys, so this is the hitch that we got for our Ram 1500. Um, it does look like it's a small hitch, but don't worry. This hitch is made for the vehicle. Um, most hitches that you're probably used to seeing is a hitch that goes frame, from frame to frame. Um, but this one here with the Ram, they've already have all the support beams and everything put in. Starts on the passenger side here, runs all the way across over to the driver's side. It's already built into the vehicle itself from the uh, manufacturer. So we're just going to be installing the hitch onto the actual beam itself that is already put in. Our attachment points for the hitch, there's going to be three points. Um, there's going to be one here, it's going to be the main one, and there's going to be two behind the beam here, between the tire and where we mount it in. We will have to drop the spare tire out of, out of the way so we can get our tools up there to torque it down to the specifications that are uh, with the instructions. And then you may have to reposition the tire just slightly, dependent on how far the bolts stick out um, once we have it torqued down into spec. All right, so before we actually put the hitch onto the truck itself, um, what we'll want to do is take the provided bolt that's going to go into the main uh, hole up here for the uh, hitch itself. You'll want to start threading it in. It'll be a little tight, so we want to make sure it goes in nice and freely. And we, want, we don't want to use any power tools while doing this because you don't want to strip any of the threads while you're doing it. You just want to make sure you can get it in, in and out nice and smooth. And then we'll proceed on putting the hitch onto the vehicle. All right, so when putting this hitch into position, the bumper does sit in the way a little bit of your attachment points. So when you're putting this up, you do have to angle it to get it into place. Once you have it into place, you'll take your bolt with the washer and go from the top side to hold it into place for you so it, it does not move. Once you have the bolt in, you'll be able to tighten it down to help hold the hitch up into place. All right, so the other two attachment points that we'll be doing onto the hitch itself comes with these hardware, well, hardware here. We got our bolt with our square plate that'll go through. And we'll, we'll have to reverse fish wire the bolt into place. And once that is in place, then we'll put in our conical tooth washer with the teeth towards the hitch and then our bolt on the back side to hold it down into place. All right, so we're gonna fish wire the rest of the hardware in. You'll take your fish wire and put it into the bolt hole in the back. Once you have it in place, you'll push it up through the tube, through the access hole onto this side here. All right, and then now you have it out, the access hole in the side. You'll be able to take your bolt with your plate. You'll thread it on. Then you'll want to set these, uh, these down into the tube separately. So the plate goes in first, and then the wire, the bolt goes in afterwards. And once you pull it, I left this, the hitch loose, so you can adjust it to pull the bolt through. Once the bolt is out on the back side, You'll be able to take the threads off, or the bolt buddy off. As I said before, conical tooth washer, teeth towards the hitch. And then your nut goes on the other end. And you can leave this somewhat loose as well because you do have to do the passenger side as well here.
All right, so now that we have the hitch in place, we want to snug this top bolt down. We're going to be using our ele electric impact with a one and an eighth inch drive. Then we'll be able to torque them down to spec afterwards. All right, now that we have this snug down, we're going to take this and torque it down. These, this top one is going to be 250 foot pounds. The back ones will be 85 foot pounds. And again, these back ones here are 85. And now that we have the hitch torqued down, we want to raise the, hit, the tire back into position. All right, last thing guys, the hitch manufacturer does provide us with a cap to go over this bolt that we put into place up top here. That'll go nicely into place so it covers up the bolt, doesn't make it look like it's shoddy looking. Let's go over some features about this hitch that we installed. It's got a two inch receiver tube opening. It's got a nice cover that goes around the edge, around, around the edge of it. We have two large uh, safety chain loops that you'll be able to put your chains through. That way it'll keep your, whatever you're hauling behind you, even if it were to come off your ball. Um, but other than that, stay safe out there, enjoy the outdoors, stop in and see me again. A couple important measurements on this receiver hitch that we had placed in from the receiver pinhole to the back of the hitch. It's gonna be two and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the receiver tube is gonna be 20 inches. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.